Okay. Hello and welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre. I'm filling in for Patrick. And thanks for tuning in. This is round four, game one. Nailed it. Yeah, you did. Of BD Cosmos Summer Kit 3. This is top table, and we have some totally different decks than what you've seen before. I think we've watched like a lot of Titan versus. We've seen Kate. a lot of Titan and Capes. Yeah, excellent. Um, so this is the first tournament in which Data and Destiny has been legal in Montreal, and you can tell because on the left we have Jerome. Uh, Jerome's a really strong player in Montreal, a multiple regional winner, and he is playing Sync. Sync. So we've seen Sync once or twice again on this channel before. Right. It's um, uh, an efficient deck. It makes tags expensive. Yep. It's also small, 44 cards, yep. usually. Uh, so that is pretty good to get those combo pieces together, get Absolutely. those Astro scripts out. Um, on the other side, we have Julien, and Julien is playing Noise. Um, nice. Some good old Noise. I don't know if Noise got anything too new from Data and Destiny. I'd say Technical Writer could yeah. be really strong for Noise. Uh, I think you could consider Harbinger if you're doing Aesops, but I think maybe Cash is just I better. I think Cash is still better, Yeah, I, I do see where you're coming, coming at. Um, it looks like we are off. Uh, that is a making news <laughs> right out of hand. Oh, breaking, breaking news. Breaking news. Sorry. Uh, right out of hand, yep. and that might actually tell you something a bit about... It, it tells me something. Yeah, a bit about uh, Jerome's deck. Yep. Uh, if you haven't seen any of these... Oh, it looks like we got a Lamprey and Axis. That's actually huge. So, yep, wow. That's great. Kitty Cat, stolen. Um, okay, it gets better. And an Astro. And Jerome is, meanwhile, just leaking credits. Bleeding credits. And being with Lamprey out... And no ice on HQ is actually a really, really bad spot to be. Because you need credits to res ice. But you can't just click But you can't click for credits because you're just going to... more efficiently run you out of credits. This is rough. This is a really, really bad spot. Um, not sure what Jerome's going to do there. That Jackson would have been huge. Install. Maybe draw some cards. Absolutely. Find some ice. Maybe get some ice. Uh, sweep Sweep. Maybe even. I don't know. Resistor even at this yeah, point. Yeah, Resistor would be good. Um, sorry, we were saying before, I think Jerome's deck is what you would call a convenience shop deck, is the name I've heard on the internet for these decks. Right, yeah, I've seen that name around. Yeah, and the idea is that with this new card from Data and Destiny, oh, Axis on R&D, uh, that's a Sansen, that's going to go back. Um, with this new card, 24-7 News Cycle, you can sacrifice an agenda in your score area to trigger the win scored when ability scored on a different agenda in your score area. Yep. So it's really easy to sacrifice an agenda to fire the making news when scored ability, which breaking gives news. breaking news, sorry, which gives a runner two tags so that you can flatline them. Yep. He's getting another agenda Oof. in there. He's got another breaking news. And he's not taking the credits off of cash. No, he's not. N now he is, but Yeah, he might be I right would, now. Like if I installed a cash and then I access CVS, I'd be very unhappy. Oh, very much. Yeah, CVS is a huge problem. I don't see why you wouldn't clear that. Another access? Um I think that was uh that was the Gutenberg. So that is not an ice that's going to end the run, but it looks like uh, Jerome is still going to take two credits and throw that down somewhere. I think you need that on R and D on HQ, otherwise you can't res it. They would yeah, just lamp absolutely. right into HQ. So knowing what that is, boy, Julian, does you check it? Yeah, looks like sure. Well, that's keep, keep Jerome poor. Why not? Keep Jerome poor is important. Uh, we're gonna have a trace of seven, which is unbeatable He's just right take now. That tag. That is an expensive tag to clear. You do get a single access on HQ, which could be okay. Uh, but in this case, to access and oh, wow. it is not okay. That was so smart of Jerome putting tagging ice in front of an HQ that he knew he had a cat in a, it, a kitty cat in. So to launch the twenty four seven news cycle, uh, you need two agendas, and Jerome did not have a way. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. This is getting rough. This is getting real rough. So you're saying, yeah. Okay, third that, axis. That's a scorch. That's a scorch. Okay, we're actually in a good, I think, a decent spot. Right, but you were saying Jerome had no way of scoring an agenda unless yeah. he tricked the runner into scoring it for him. Exactly. Yeah, with because Jerome would have to make credits, be able to keep the lamprey out, and then score a fast advance and agenda. Probably, I right. uh, already two breaking news are out of the game. Right. So that cap was probably his window. Um, with, Plascrete in hand. But with his last click, I think he's going to clear the tag. Yeah, I think you might want to clear the tag because you could be afraid of other cards, perhaps. Yep, looks like you cleared the tag. Uh, clearing the tag is good. Um, Jerome still digging. I think he might have just drawn the 24-7 news cycle. So now you just need some money. He just needs the money. Credit, credit, uh, behind a good break. So uh, you just need one agenda. At six points? Yeah. Julian is in a... He's been milling some cards. Most oh of those cards he knew what he milled. Uh, single Axis is a Data Raven. That's not going to do it. No, not going to be anything. Um, no credits. Draw, that's Can't good. install the Plascrete. 
Uh, okay, take back a credit. Down to three cards. Take a credit back down to three cards, and that actually might be a big mistake. Uh, looks like one credit. That it was twenty-four yeah. seven news cycle is gonna forfeit the kitty cat to score the breaking news into a scorcher uh, with a plus green in hand. Always so hard. Oh, I'm, feel terrible. I'm with sorry, Julian. <laughs> yeah, that's real rough. And you know what? The first card I I saw a build in the archives was a beal. If oh, Julian just ran archives, he would have taken that game. Yeah. But it drove made some really smart plays. Oh my god. And you know, I've seen a lot of convenience shop decks online played on Octagon or something like that. And a lot of these games will only last five minutes. If you can't get out that plus screen as soon as possible, you're in a really bad spot. Sure. Because that for three credits, that's a kill. That's yep, ridiculous. Absolutely. And the runner can't do anything out besides that anything against that besides like a new Angeles City Hall, decoys, stuff like that. Sure. And decoy even is really difficult. You need two, right? You need two. Wow. Boy. That's fast. Uh, yep. <laughs> that probably is the scariest card I've seen in Dating Destiny in terms of kill decks. It is. Um, I, I do think it's balanced, though. Like, I'm not going to hate on the card. No, I, I, think I don't hate it. I don't think the sky is falling. I just think no. it's uh, it's going to change the meta. Yeah. It just might. Well, hey, thanks Boy. so much for watching. It uh, looks like we have another uh, matchup between Jerome and Julien. It's going to be Val against NEH. That's actually a pretty exciting matchup. Cool. I look uh, forward to it. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. Ciao. <laughs> I think it's scary though. Just the 24 seconds.